I'll leave before we get into the game coming up at the weekend. I think most of the supporters are now wondering how that treatment room is. Can you bring them up today? What's happened from last week? Yeah, it's a busy one. Um, I've got to say, um, Zach's going to be a couple of months. Um, pretty bad sprain in his ligaments. Um, so we're going to have to be patient with that one. Um, pretty angry at that one, I must say, after what happened last week. Avoidable, really avoidable. So really annoyed. And I thought he was playing really well. I thought he got himself into a really good position. Um, as, probably as well as he's, he's played for the football club. Um, I thought he's been really good in the last few games. So real good maturity. Um, so disappointed for him. Um, and obviously us, Joel Tabner won't make it for the weekend. Definitely this time, um, he won't make it. He's just not had the, the reaction in terms of healing um, like we thought it would. Uh, Longy won't make this weekend um, with his thigh. Again, we're hopeful for the weekend after, but he won't make it. Um, Mattis is going to have to have a couple of weeks downtime. Um, there's been a reaction in his groin area, so that's another one we're going to be missing. Um, Shiloh's got a tight hamstring, so we're going to have to be mindful of him. Courtney had a tight hamstring. Um, and missed a day's training, so we're going to have to be mindful of him. Um, Lunty, with his back, he, he's really struggling to, to ease his back off. Um, it might be through growing, etc. with him. So it's a busy one, and I've probably missed somebody in there, but it, it's, a, it's a busy one. But it is what it is. Um, players that have been waiting patiently for their opportunity look like they might get it. There's going to be a lot of them players probably down the line, isn't there, that are going to get the opportunity then with the, the amount of numbers and names that you just said to us? Yeah, I mean, it won't just be our football club, will it? It'll be up and down the country happening um, all over the place. So um, we spoke about the group um, and that's why we ask them to train properly, prepare properly, as if they were, they were playing themselves for when the opportunity does come, uh, they're able to take it. You're still a couple of months away from the transfer window opening. There are non-contract players and free agents. Is that some area that you might be able to, to, to work and strengthen your squad? Where are you up to with that? It's something we've spoke about. The difficulty you have is that some of these players haven't played since May. Um, so once you can sign, you can sign free, free agents. Um, a lot of them are looking after themselves training in other, in other places. Um, but it'd be a few weeks to get them up to speed, probably playing in under 21 games. So the, the signing might not have the immediate effect of, of getting into the team and helping the group. Um, so we're mindful of that as well. But also, um, it's important that we use the plays we've got. Um, it's all right me going on about the group and we're all doing it. It's, it these are the, the opportunities that players need um, and we want them to grasp it. Um, so we've looked at that area, but we're also mindful we've got good players still who are ready to come in. A good start in the league, switching now to FA Cup weekend, of course, and arguably you've drawn the biggest club outside the top two divisions, haven't you? Uh, it's a tasty one on, on, on paper for you, but it, it's a difficult one. Oh, it's extremely difficult. Me and Ryan went and watched them on Tuesday. I thought they were excellent. Um, lots of energy, lots of goal threat. They obviously scored, didn't they? Four goals. They, they, were, they were really good. Um, and I think that their management's doing a, a, a really good job. Um, I listened to their assistant manager's interview after the game. I thought he was brilliant in terms of what he said because of the expectations of, of Derby County, but the way they're going about it, they're just under the radar a little bit, aren't they? And I think that they'll enjoy being that way. Um, but it's going to be a real, a real tasty game, uh, one we've got to look forward to. I'm sure the fans will look forward to it. I know it's on TV, but we're hopeful people will come and watch with it being on a Sunday. Um, and one we've got to grasp and enjoy it um, and, and try and have a real go at them. Yeah, you mentioned the, the TV cameras coming. It's been a few years since they were, they were last following Carl Alexander. An opportunity and good to, for the football club and the players and all the staff to be in the spotlight. Yeah, it is, but you, you, we can't think about that too much. Um, you know, the, the cameras are there every week, really, aren't they, for, for different shows, whatever. So we, we, we can't um, get caught up with all that. And I'm sure the players won't. I'm sure there'll be a few haircuts knocking about. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we'll, just, we'll just treat it as normal. Um, like today's our Thursday, tomorrow's our Friday. We're just doing everything as normal um, to prepare the players the best we can. You got that first hand look at them with Ryan in the week. But what are you, you know, what else are you expecting? You want to do another own work on them as well. What are you expecting from Derby? Well, I think they've got a real structured way in terms of how they play um, to threaten the back, which you have to cope with. Really good movement and interchange. 
Um, so they are a real threat and, and they do it with real pace and they explode into, into opposi uh, opposition areas that you don't really want a, um, your opposition to go. It's hard to stop. Um, so we've done our homework, we've looked at them. Um, we obviously have to find ways of stopping that. Um, but then also we've got to concentrate on what we want to do with the football. Um, we want to try and, and dominate large parts, I'm sure they do. Um, but we've got to concentrate on what what we need to do with the football um, in the next couple of days. On top of that, do the out of possession stuff, um, which we'll go through with them this morning and this afternoon. Um, touch on it again tomorrow, and then leading up to the game. Um, but we have to be mindful. They're a good team with good players. Um, they have got some really good players, experienced players in there. Um, so you know it's a real test for us. But one, like you say, it gives you a break from the league. Um, it's the FA Cup. Um, and hopefully we can make an upset. The last meeting, I think, of Crew against Derby was 2010. There was a certain midfielder called Lee Bell was in the team that particular day. But there's been a lot of connections to Crew and Derby. If you look over the years, Rob Alls, John Brayford, James Bailey, Robbie Savage, Chris Porter, people like that. Memories? Not good ones. I think it was 5-0. Um, there was a game I played in, it was 5-0 at their place. Um, so no, not particularly when you're on the back of that. Um, but yeah, there has been players who have played for both. Derby a massive football club and them names you've just reeled off. You know, Obviously, they're in the Premier League and doing well in the Championship for a lot of that. Um, they're just a massive football club and you can feel that when you go there. Um, the stadium, the expectation of the, of the fans. Um, good club as well. Um, like I say, good people working there. Um, so again, it's just a real good opportunity for us, for our younger players to showcase themselves um, and let's see where we are at the end of the game. As we all know, the, the FA Cup's still got a lot of glory about it and you're the man responsible with the team and the tactics for, for Crow Alexander, but it, it can also bring a lot of money in, can't it, you know, if you can have a, have a cup run? Yeah, you, you, you are obviously mindful of that. Um, you, you know about that, it being a part of the management team. Um, it's something that we obviously know, but we're, we're in it to win football games and progress. And then what the football club can get if we do progress out of that is brilliant, can only help. But all we can do is concentrate on preparing our team the best we can um, and, and seeing what happens on Sunday. Like I say, it's going to be a good occasion. I'm sure they'll, they'll bring quite a few fans. And we've got to embrace it um, and really try and take the game to them when we're in possession. Yeah, just wrapping it all up, it is a tasty looking tie, no doubt about that. Hence why the TV cameras have, uh, have been selected to come, to come along. So you've played the Rexhams, you've played the Stockports with big crowds, you've been to Sunderland with big crowds and, and, and places like that over, over a period of time. You want your players to embrace this one? Yeah, we do. And, and we spoke after the, the stop hall game about the magnitude of the game and, and what we want it to look like the next time. Well, this is the next time, but obviously slightly different. Um, so, you know, we want some courage with the football. Um, we'll be encouraging them to play how we want to. Um, and back and when things don't quite go right, which, which they will do, they always do no matter what competition, league, whatever you're playing in. Um, they know they, the players know we've got their backs in terms of when things don't quite look right. Um, but it'll be good to, to gauge to gauge us um, to see where we're at. Um, but we're not. I'm not saying that just we're going to come and play. You know, we're hopefully going to give them a really good game.